We just finished our lunch and we're headed down to the beach. It took us about two hours to get here. Just discovered this in the store today. It's really tasty, not sweet at all, which is perfect for me because I don't like sweets. We are walking towards the beach. The RV campground is behind the day use parking lot. There's the ocean down there. This is really beautiful. And the ocean breeze feels fantastic. And here comes the train. Oh, but it's quiet. Quite a view if you're on the train. The campground here is definitely not the most beautiful beach campground. I'm not quite sure why tent campers would come here over Doheny, which is really close. RV campers would come here because there are full hookups here, which Doheny does not have. Uh, as far as California beach campgrounds, I think Doheny's probably the best I've been to, and then second would be a tie between Carpinteria and Crystal Cove. But Craig had a great point, which is it, uh, it beats, it's better than not being here, which is absolutely true because we're at the beach and we have this amazing view. He also observed that because we usually go up north towards the Santa Barbara area more than south this way, but I don't see the oil rigs out there like in Santa Barbara. So I don't know if that means there are different regulations here or uh, there is an oil here. It's kind of nice not to see those oil rigs out there. Here's the tunnel to the beach. and the path back up to the campground, I believe, or maybe to the day use area. So when we got back from the beach, we could not unlock our door. We tried multiple times with our key and thought it was jammed, something was wrong. So Craig got out the ladder and up and in I went. We are waiting for our Uber, which I think is pulling up to take us to the cellar. We had a great time at the cellar. It's in downtown, the downtown area and it's really packed. It's cool that people just sit together at the tables and uh, Elliot was there playing the piano and he played one of my f all time favorites, Moon River, which you never hear people play. And we had um, a, a white wine flight and a red wine flight. Um, the Merlot was fantastic. And then we had a cheese plate that was the best cheese I think I've ever had in my life. It was so delicious, along with a bunch of other food. And uh, Ubered back here. The reviews that I read online commented that some of the park rangers are not very friendly and I would have to say that the one who checked us in, he wasn't rude, but just not friendly. Um, I also read reviews that said that the bathrooms were not clean and unfortunately I just went in and it's not that clean. And uh, enjoying San Clemente very much. Um, we got a recommendation uh, for Nix from the Uber driver, so maybe we'll check it out tomorrow. But this campground is a little bit, 
it's just a little bit off to me. And since we've got gotten here, I've been asking Craig, like, what is it? What is it that I don't quite like about this place? And again, it's not that I'm not enjoying myself. We always have a great time. But I think because you have quite a bit of space, but there's no bushes between the sites, and there's few trees. And I was thinking when we're at Carpinteria, it's like a parking lot, but, but the ocean is there. When we camp at Crystal Cove, Craig said, well, you know, you're, it's, uh, you know, has space and you can look out in the ocean and there's hills behind you. But here you can't either, you can't hear or see the ocean. And so it's, it just feels like you've pulled into these slots and there's few trees and there's few bushes so uh it's it's kind of a kind of an ugly campground i mean i don't know how else to put it, it the beach is great the the you know the stuff that you can do here is great but the campground itself i think could really benefit from having more bushes and trees even though i know that we're in a drought so um we will definitely be back though because we're really enjoying san clemente and I think there's a lot more for us to check out here. Good morning, it's Sunday, and this is our spot, number 18. This campground has uh, a tent, a rather large tent camping area. I'm gonna try to walk down there later on to check it out. <clears throat> and then the RV side. Uh, they look like they're all pull through and we have a pretty good amount of space table. <clears throat> I was up early, I walked around, and I asked Craig to start a morning fire, and he said, go ahead, because he was still in bed, so I tried. It was not successful. This is not my fire, this is Craig's fire. I was not a Boy Scout, so I need to learn how to do this. The reviews I read said that there were skunks everywhere, and I kind of was hoping to see one. Maybe they're in the tent camping area. Haven't seen any skunks. I did see a black and white cat running yesterday, and the kids were yelling, skunk, skunk. It's pretty funny. Bathroom's down there. It was rather gross last night. I can't quite understand why people make a mess in a bathroom and don't clean up after themselves. Okay, we're starting our breakfast, blueberry pancakes, and Craig is going to do the bacon outside over the fire. So we finished our blueberry and bacon breakfast, which was really delicious, and we are doing a little bit of maintenance. We've decided to try a technique where we do a little bit each time because we keep our RV in storage, so we can't do maintenance there. And then we go out about once a month, which is to relax. So we could either take one weekend trip and do the do all maintenance the entire trip or try to do a little bit each time and so that's what we've decided to try we're kind of using a around the rv technique and uh, but craig's up on the roof right now i uh, cleaned this front part last week when we were at ukaipa and I kind of discovered that when you put down the shade, it's the solar shade, which uh, when we put it into storage, it's going to sit there for a couple weeks, maybe up to a month, and the whole interior is shaded, right? But look at the front part. So there's this 
front part that is always exposed to the sun. And so I don't want that front part, it's like a soft material to get ruined by the UV. I know that it will get ruined, UV ruins everything. So I've decided that every trip we're going to, I'm going to wipe it down and then I'm going to put the 303 UV protectant on it and actually I noticed this time this is already starting to heal because it's this soft material so so definitely uh, if you don't use one of those screens um, I have seen people lay towels up there to cover it I'd rather not do that I like it to look clean so I'm going to try it with the 303 every time now and I may clean the carpets I'm not sure well, don't know if I want to do it or not uh, so the idea was to do the roof and the carpet this time so let's go up and see what Craig's doing okay Craig's working on the roof we can't do a full clean obviously because we're at a camp state campground but just doing a little bit of a wipe down uh, again since we keep our RV in storage we can't just clean it whenever we want um, I usually ask them to clean it uh, so I saw a product that's a roof RV roof cleaner that also has a UV UV protectant in it so maybe we'll try that and we really need to clean the top of the, the slide toppers maybe put some UV coating on that too the seals look good though because that's one of our things on our maintenance list is just you know to check all of these except where they're just they're dirty that they're all right which you're supposed to check them at least once a year. The, the very first row that's closest to the entrance is the only row that has ocean, would have an ocean view. This would be pretty nice, this spot right here. There's our rig over there. And just taking a walk around. I think that 60 through 66 have the best ocean view. And found a spot for horseshoes. What's interesting is in the day use area, we see RVs with their slides out. So I'm not sure if they would make you pay for more than one spot because you're kind of taking like four spots when you do that, but apparently they let you do it. So you could roll in here in the morning and leave at 10 o'clock and enjoy the beach just for the full day. This is a tent site and these sites are much nicer, in my opinion, than the RV sites. I mean, you have a uh, double parking, fire pit, grill, table under a shade ramada, it has the best views and we've seen some RVs I guess if your RV can fit here I think they'll let you reserve this just no hookups this is the bathroom near the tent camping area and the showers look really good here I think they're token. Here's bathroom. A little bit of a mess, but it's okay. I really didn't think that any place could compare to Santa Barbara, but we loved San Clemente. It's beautiful 
and it is definitely on our list of potential places to retire.